Another M for the five M's of geriatrics is mobility. And it is a gait assessment and fall risk is a very important aspect of the comprehensive geriatric assessment. Having a nice walk area for the patient to demonstrate, the person to demonstrate their gait is very important. Looking at their speed, looking at their posture, their arm swing, their footsteps and how they turn and stand up and sit down, all of it is all of the things that we take for granted are things that a geriatrician will really scrutinize. And so looking at the, if they need to use something for walking, looking at that particular piece of medical equipment, the durable medical equipment, be it a cane, a rollator, a walker, um, these are things that are actual tools for walking and these are things that are gonna prevent the person from walking. So looking at the height, the angle of you know, how the arm, how they're holding themselves, this is something that is, is very important. How fast the, this, the gait speed of, of a person and their function it helps as a, is a good predictor of their functional status and, and, and their prognosis, so this is an important aspect. Um, their ability to transfer from positions is very important. Um, the timed up and go test is a great way to, to use a, a, an, to have an evaluation in the, in the, in the clinic room. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's different uh, d functional reach tests, there's different tests to also assess. Um, stressing the importance of balance exercises, resistance training, um, simple uh, 30 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day of walking 150 minutes a week um, is a good way to remind patients that while perhaps they have physical therapy for f six weeks of their life, when that, even when that physical therapy period ends, they're expected to continue with these exercises. Uh, so everyday walking, uh, and to also know that exercise is a f the form of physical activity that kind of gets your heart moving and racing and you're breathing a little bit faster. It's not simply walking to the mailbox if that's something that's a piece of cake for you that's not considered your exercise. So the mobility piece is extremely important, and this is often the, the piece that uh, a patient might first realize is is declining and may also lead to more social isolation and less and a reduction in their activity. So it's important to really identify this upfront as something to to help with if you notice that there is there are some challenges. It's very important to assess for fall risk. Uh, there's a great there's a great greater likeliness of a frail older individual falling and having a hip fracture and ending up in a an acute rehab nursing home facility. Uh, after the hospitalization in, as opposed to going returning home. And so in order to prevent these complications and prevent this more likely undesired, nobody wants to go into a rehab facility when they could rather go home, a patient should work on maintaining uh, the, sa the safest possible structure at home. So that could include having positional grab bars in various places, perhaps the bathroom, the, around the toilet seat, the bathtub, maybe having a railing on the side of their bed, making sure that their chairs are sturdy and stable. Um, rocking chairs for somebody who has some balance, impair, balance challenges is not advised, for example. Um, removing rugs and fluffy floor coverings from the apartment or house is important and making sure that the stairs, for example, um, have good uh, floor grip and and the, the and whatever the person is wearing the person is wearing on their feet are 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 good walking good walking devices good walking shoes. Uh, it's important to do this kind of home safety assessment. And if a geriatrician or a primary care provider is able to go into the home and do a home safety evaluation, even better. Uh, other times, you, if you're not able to do that for time purposes or just restriction of the practice, physical therapists are able to do this, and it's important for the geriatrician, if needed, to make commu to communicate with the therapist to kind of discuss, you know, what needs to be assessed, what needs to be done.